February 28th is the date Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has set for the likely removal of the state's indoor mask mandate, but it won't apply to schools. And WGEM Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich is live in uh, Springfield with details. Mike. Mackenzie, good evening. This is a moment of hope for plenty of Illinoisans across the state who decided to keep their masks on throughout the past few months of the Omicron surge. There are now 2,496 people hospitalized for COVID-19 in Illinois. Governor J.B. Pritzker says the state has now seen the fastest decline in COVID hospitalization data since the start of the pandemic. That's why he feels it was time to create this timeline for lifting masks. But he stresses that masks and vaccines work. As a result of them and the tremendous commitment of our state's residents, we are on track to come out on the other side of this latest COVID storm in better shape than even the doctors expected. Local governments, businesses, and organizations can still have their own mask requirements. Masks will also be required for health care, long-term care facilities, and congregate settings like jails. Pritzker says this change will not apply to K-12 schools. That wasn't welcomed by Republican lawmakers. Let's let parents and children go back to schools without having to deal with this mask situation. While some may argue this is a bad decision that forces children to wear masks while adults can celebrate, Illinois Public Health Director Ngazi Azike explained COVID is not gone and it won't be gone on February 28th. She also explained schools need more time to see less community spread, vaccine eligibility for younger kids, and more parents getting their kids vaccinated. We need some time to make sure that we don't see some kind of unexpected results. So we don't want to take it off in, in all settings. We can start there and, and look at it and see what's, what's the result of doing that. Meanwhile, Republican Senator and gubernatorial candidate Darren Bailey said today that he wants the madness to end and wants the mask mandate over for everyone, although most of his supporters never wore masks in the first place. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Miletic, WGEM News.